What's up guys, AF here today doing a species specific video for you guys. Uh, we're going to be going for bullhead catfish. These guys have been trying to go after for a long time and I finally found a lake that's uh, relatively close to home. So you can fish for these bullhead from shore, but uh, I just got a new kayak and uh, I want to get out on the water a little bit with it. So this will be a kayak bullhead catfish fishing trip. Alright, time to launch. All right, so usually with bullhead catfish, doesn't matter where you cast, there's going to be a million of them. So I'm going to try and get out here a little bit. Look like there's a little bit of depth going on. I'll show you the rigs that I'm going to be using and the bait. I'm using a Cast King Pontus 2000. It's a bait feeder rod, so basically if I set this right here and a uh, fish takes the bait, does that clicker noise and lets me know there's a fish on so that I can set the hook. Um, but basically for the rig, it's basically a Carolina rig, so I have a egg sinker or bullet sinker I guess you call it got a swivel uh, and I have a leader leading up to a one knot circle hook the reason I use a bigger hook for these little catfish is they love to swallow the hook so bigger the hook uh, the better chance I have of releasing them easily it's paired up with a cast king Cyrix IM6 it's a cool little lightweight little rod but we'll put it to the test on bullheads today and as for bait I'm gonna be using worms simple uh but i think the key for me catching them quickly is i have what's called a worm bubbler or worm blower and basically what it does is it takes the worm rises it off the ground and if you're fishing a lake that has a lot of weeds this is perfect for it keeps the bait off the ground and you can easily catch the fish and for my pliers uh a company named runkle uh sent me this pair of pliers uh they're set up with a nice little safety guy so i can drop it in the water no big deal um, but I'll be using these guys to definitely get the hooks out of those catfish's mouth. Those catfish mouths are tough, but yeah, check it out. Runkle, awesome company. They, uh, they reached out to me and they sent me these pliers. So shout out to Runkle. We're going to get our worm. These are big worms, so I'm going to cut them in half. And we're going to thread this worm on here. Kind of like that. Now that's a fat, chunky worm on that hook. Uh, and then we're going to get the worm blower. And all it is is it's just pumps air in there find a little section poke it and boom kind of blew up a little bit do another section of the worm blew them up so without further ado that was of course right into a tree set it off to the side here and uh, we wait and I'm pretty sure I'm already yep already getting tugs oh, ha, ha. came off noise on and check it out guys easy as that a bullhead catfish at least this is a little guy. I'll have to do some identification later to see if these are yellow bullhead or brown bullhead. But a very cool looking little fish. Let's get him off the hook so I can show you guys a little bit. Perfect hook set on the side of the mouth. But that's literally how easy it is to catch these guys. Hopefully you can get on a lot of them. It's unfortunate you can't use these guys as bait here in Arizona. In other parts of the country you can. But uh, not easy. And when I mean bait, I mean this is perfect bait for flathead catfish. It would be lively as heck. But for whatever reason, AZGFD is not too fond of the idea of using these guys as a bait. I guess it's for transportation purposes. Who knows, but cool looking little guy. Go ahead and get a picture for Instagram real quick. Nice. Alright, now one thing you have to worry about these guys is very sharp fins. Those will sting you badly. You'll swell up a little bit. So, go ahead and grab this guy. Get him in the water. And off he goes. I'll go ahead and cast it out again. I already have a fish on. Yep, Let's see what we got. Yep, looks like another bullhead. Right in the corner of the mouth, too. Perfect little hook set. Boom. This guy's actually little. Uh, they do get a little bit bigger, but uh, that guy is a little guy for sure. Oh, <laughs> it's just clamping down. Let's cast this out again. Cast out that way. And then we wait two seconds. Oh, already got one on. Easy as that. Now there's pike in here, and I would love a pike to come and smash this bullhead. Gosh, catching all dinks today, man. But as you can see, I'm, I'm hooking these guys to where I can easily get them out. Little miniature guy. Thanks, bud. Appreciate that. Would be cool to catch a bullhead of size today. Um, in Arkansas, I caught a almost three pound bullhead, which is like humongous. In terms of bullhead size, uh, I think the state record's like four pounds or two two pounds or something like that here in Arizona. Uh, but that was crazy. 
Now, I don't know if this is a good indication or not, but if you see a lot of bubbles around the top of the water, usually that means there's a lot of bullheads in the area because basically called mud cats. They're just kind of digging through that mud looking for food. So if you can find the bubbles, you're in the right area. Yeah, so send it in. Already got one. Oh, and he came off. All right, let's try this again. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess I gotta set the hook a little bit better with that worms on there. I keep losing these guys. Got him. There we go. I think I set the hook a little bit on that guy. Yeah. Perfect. That's so cool. So I'm pretty sure these are yellow bullhead. Yeah, well he took my worm. A little hit there. Got him. They're cool little fighters, but I'm using like a light rod as well. <laughs> Alright, back you go. And fish on. A little bullhead. Oh, that was easy. Never even had to touch the fish. Yep, fish on. That guy's a little fatter. Now I just want to catch a big one. Fish on, fish on. Back he goes. Already getting bites, getting bites, nibs. Set the hook. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So easy a cat fisherman can do it. Sorry, guys, that's a little catfish joke. Uh, if you guys aren't on AZ Anglers on Facebook, uh, you should be on there because it is pretty funny. You can see me on there a lot, giving the bass guys a lot of hard time, and the bass guys give me a hard time, and so on and so forth. It's all a lot of fun. Never fails. Oh, I got another one on. Quick release. Oh, jeez. Rookie move. Pure rookie move. All right, back you go. There we go. More bullhead. Try right there. Already getting hits. Unreal. <laughs> it's a little bit nicer size. When I say nicer size, like a quarter of an ounce bigger. Another bullhead bites the dust. Come on in, bud. Alright, one catfish. Cast for number two. And hooked up. Bullhead number two. This bullhead comes with a lot of salad. I don't believe I ordered a catfish with my salad. Alright, catfish number two. What do you say we go for number three? Alrighty. Okay, cool. Three it is. Took my worm on that one. Thanks, bud. Boom. Bullhead number four. Come on in, bud. Totally took all my worm. Jeez. I'm going through worms like crazy today. <laughs> Alright, one more, guys. One more. Let's make it count. Boom. These little guys have a lot of fight. I'll give them that. Alright. Bullhead number five, guys. Weird looking little things. But really cool, nonetheless. Later, bud. Alright, guys. Well, that's going to finish up this episode of AF. Had a pretty good time targeting those bullhead catfish. Pretty fun. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Later, guys.